Hibabebe. My name is Eleanor Ostman, longtime food writer in St. Paul, Minnesota. And you are Sorle Anderson. Yes. Born in Finland. Mm -hmm. A cook, a chef, a restaurateur. And together we are the two Finn cooks. Yeah. <laughs> and you may have seen the, the other videos that we did on YouTube or through the Finlandia Foundation. One for roastly salad made with beets and herring. And then we did a, a Finnish blueberry coffee cake. But today, because the uh, annual May 1st celebration of uh, Bapu is coming up in Finland, we're going to make two specialties that are always served in Finland for that holiday. Now, one is a donut. We would call it a funnel cake in the U.S. But it's called... Dippaleva. Dippaleva. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, the other is sima, which a soda will show you how to make. It's like a fermented lemon juice, lemonade. So we're going to work on those two recipes. Now, soda. I knew only about one Finnish donut, and it was called a monkey. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one, yeah. Yeah. Every time I would go to a Finnish bistro restaurant in St. Paul, I'd head right to the bakery counter and get a monkey. In fact, I was driving in northern Finland once, and I saw a little roadside stand like a food truck with a big sign, monkeys, on it. I don't know why I didn't slam on the brakes and stop, because I love monkeys. But today I'm learning about a new kind of donut that I've never, my mother didn't make these. Yeah, that's a typical Finnish with vappu. And I have a very good old recipe. It's a my mom old cookbook. She gets uh, 44, 1944, her wedding present. And you know, that's what I'm going to do. That tippaleipä uh, recipe right there, that book. And you know, that's a very old good recipe. The book was called Home Cooking. Home Cooking, yeah. And that's, that's what you a... grew up, you probably grew up eating oh, all yeah. kinds of recipes from that and book. That's a great book. I always go there when I need some regional things, you know, it's an excellent book. Okay. And now I'm going to show you how to make the dough, okay? And it's a very simple dough. Actually, we talk about mookies. You can use it at almost the same dough, but adding up a little bit more flour that monkey dough. And monkeys are filled with something. It, yeah, usually we will saute apples and pears okay. and with cinnamon and sugar. Mm -hmm. But here is the recipe now with tippaleipä. And I start four eggs. And I'm going to put the sugar. It's, a, it's not a lot of sugar. It's a, a one, tablespoon. one tablespoon with sugar. And I whip that together. Get it mixed very well. And now I'm going to add just a rumpimpetsu, half and half. That's a half a liter with the... About two and a half cups. Yeah, about two half cups, yeah. With the half and half. I use a half and half because that's the... It's a little bit Oh yeah, it's mm -hmm. just that. And now I add yeast. That's a one tablespoon, tablespoon with yeast. And I will dry yeast. Yeah. And mix it up together. And I have 450 grams with the flour. That's about one pound of flour. Yeah, almost one pound. And we make it dough. Mix it up, everything together. And this is actually is a very, very soft dough. You know, we mix it everything together and uh, let it rest. We have to let it just stand about half an hour, 45 minutes to get little bubbles and uh, make it that dough uh, kind of nice and light. To... Okay, here you are. Now, this is, you can see how nice and soft that dough is. We mix it up very well and we let it sit. Did your mother make these when you were little? Oh, of course, everybody makes it. Before Vapu, you know, this is a very typical thing and it's not complicated to do it. It's very easy to do it. You can see how soft that dough is. Okay, and now I let it that dough to rest. And, uh, Meantime, when it is resting, 
I'm going to show you how to make it that shima, homemade shima. And we take a little break and you know we're going to go with the talk about shima. Well, let's talk a little bit about Bapu. That's celebrated in Finland. We don't know it so well in the United States, but tell us your memories of Bapu when you were a kid. Well, Bapu is celebrating, you know, all the time, you know, it first with me. It's still going on, you know, the same kind of celebration in Finland. And when I was young, uh, you know, we looking forward to have a Bapu. It's a reason to have fun, have a parties, you know, and, and after the long winter. Oh my gosh. With spring coming, summer coming, it's just absolutely wonderful. It's nice to celebrate. Okay, and what did you generally have to eat at Bapu? Usually we have potato salad, a little sausage, and we have a sima and tippaleuka. Mm -hmm. okay. And that was a simple, basically <laughs> menu. You know, my grandmother had a book that she probably got after World War II uh, about Finland. And I remember this picture of the university students in Helsinki. They wore white caps. And I remember the picture of them all throwing the caps in the air. Was that on Bapu? Oh yeah, I still are. The so hall is Amanda there with downtown uh, Helsinki. Okay. You know, people get together there and have lots of parties and that's still going on. Okay. So it's a wonderful and thing to... It's a, tra a tradition. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Well, I think my mother made Sima occasionally, but I don't think I got to taste it because it was fermented. Probably a <laughs> little alcoholic contest <laughs> when I was a kid. So now you can show us how you're going to make it. Do you want me to go through the recipe? As yeah, I can do it. Yeah, and I can tell you after that how... I put together. Okay. You start with 14 cups of water, one cup of brown sugar, one cup of white sugar, and two lemons, very, very thinly sliced. Mm -hmm. Do you ever add more lemons or just two? Yeah, two big lemons. Two yeah. big lemons. Okay. All right. And, and how do you start? Well, yeast. yeah, the yeast comes later. How do you how do you start putting it together? Okay. First of all, I uh, this is a double recipe that I have here. And I heat it up butter. I put sugar there to make sure sugar, you know, completely soft. And after that, I add the lemon slices. And I leave it overnight to get that, that really good lemon flavor there. And then uh, it's kind of liquid for kind of room temperature. I add the yeast. Very little yeast, one eight teaspoon. Yeah, that is a very small amount of yeast. And that's what I did and I can see little bubbles there ready. And what I'm going to do now, usually, a uh, recipe say you can put on a bottle, you can bottle it. Uh, I have an easy way to do it, everybody. You know, that make it simple your life. I have a raisins on the bottom, my another jar. I'm going to take, you know, with that, and take lemons out. And, you know, we're going to clear. You know, this, uh, that smells so good, isn't you smell it, you know, that lemon? Yes. It's a really good lemonade. Now, the recipe says 20 raisins, but it doesn't, you don't have to count well, exactly. Well, this, this is a double Oh, recipe. double recipe yeah. probably counts as raisins. like it. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know me, you know, it's just the kind of sometimes I bar. Yeah. But, you know, that's basically we do. We, uh, oops. And I can I can lift it up to see if I have a muscles. <laughs> and uh, we rain it, you know, the lemon out. Oops. I think we have to put a little bit on the side. We rain it and up. Uh, there we go. Here you are. Okay. And what happening? What I'm going to do now? I'm going to put lid on and standing for <coughs> more days my kitchen counter. And I see when this is getting ready, all the raisins are going to be up. Okay? They get they get saturated and they float. Yeah. Okay. And you get really good flavors and uh, fermentation. It's like a little bit like a kombucha, you know. Okay. And uh, what is uh, easier when you have that after a couple of days, you know, Done. You know, I have a bottle. You can have a bigger bottle. You can bottle it, and you don't have to worry about it. That whole thing exploded. 
Because you can close it, get free fridge data, cool it down, and the fermentation stop. I've seen somewhere that if you are putting it in bottles, maybe not that tight, that you have to open the top every day to, so it doesn't explode. That's a too much work. Too much <laughs> And you know, nobody wanna do that. That's why lots of people that say make it. This is an easier way to make it simple and you not explode at your bottles. Good. <laughs> you can see that how that bubbling, you have a plenty room here, fermentation, and after that you put a bottle out with your refrigerator, and you, you can serve when you're how ready. Long, how long would that last in the bottle? Well, I'm sure, you know, with fermentation, a week or two, you know. I okay. never, we never have you, a, you drink it all. Oh, yeah, we never have <laughs> okay. a time to waste. Okay, okay, thank you. All right. Okay, so I'll show us how to make the tip a little bit. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. This is, you can see the dough now. It's really, really soft, stretchy, stretchy. And I make a little pastry bag with the uh, parchment paper. Yeah, that's so uh, handy, you know, actually make it with the uh, paper. You can always grow away. You don't have to wash it later. You know. <laughs> that's true, if you yeah. don't have a regular pastry bag. Yeah, and pastry bag, you need really small uh, tip because this has to be very, very thin things what you piping with oil. And I use it here with coconut oil. Yes, big jar of coconut oil she bought. Yeah, and that's what I have there and about, you know, one coconut oil. And I heat it up and now we test it and see if that uh, oil is ready. See if the hole is big enough. Yeah, yeah, we just put a little sample, okay? We no, I have to make a little bit bigger. trim it just a little bit. And we see if that's working now. Here you are. Maybe here we can see that this oil is ready. Oh, this oil is ready. Yeah, well, that's ready. good this. A little, little, and we little open more. Up a little bit more. In the and United that. States, we call these funnel cakes. Oh, really? Yeah. And they're and very popular at the, like the state fair or, you know. Are they really? I yeah. never see it, you know, with that. You can, you can just a curl in there, you know, to try to make it kind of Zigzags, you can get. Here you are. I don't know if the funnel cakes have the same dough, but I'm sure it's very similar. Huh. I have to look next time. I go taste there and see, and you know, what kind of things there. But that's a really typical Finland tippalipa dough, very soft. And it's very little sugar. You can see how little sugar has this mm -hmm. recipe. And why do you like using coconut oil? It's given it a good flavor too, and coconut oil is good to dry it on it. It's a little bit more maybe expensive, but other oil, but I like it. Okay. Okay, now we have a, I can make it make one more there. So you can have six, Yeah. six in the pot. And you can make it kind of however you want to do. And I can make it one more there. Oh. Just that. Get things going, oil is perfect. Okay, and here you are. I make it mess with my hands too. Okay. And I rinse my hands very fast. And you're just cooking them till they're golden brown? Yeah, when they get nice and brown, you slip it. You can see how nice color they get. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, Actually, is is it that nice and easy to actually make it? Okay, that was the last one, so it's yeah. not so brown. Okay, well that yeah. maybe half dozen donuts in no time at all. Yeah, and dough is really uh, nice and soft. I think this is getting almost done. And when when they are done, I lift it up here to. Um, to get extra oil out. And when they are a little bit more dry, I roll it with uh, sugar. sugar. Do you ever use powdered sugar or just granulated sugar? Just a granulated sugar. Powder sugar, you know, I'm sure you can do powder sugar too, but you know, uh, I can use it that bread, you know, but we have to a little bit wait, you know, to get this. Uh, 
and no two are alike. <laughs> Each one is a its own design, its yeah. own artistry. Just uh, everybody can do a little design, you know, however you like to do it. So that's a basically is, you know, uh, Pippalipa, and I, I make it now with natto. Uh, dough down. Yeah. A, a drop of dough in there, and if it that's browns nicely, you know, the dough is still coming out. Well, yeah. It's the right temperature. And that's, you know, actually meet the measurement, you know, it, you can just test it with dough. Okay. Okay. Another half dozen, no time at all. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I yeah. hope everybody going to like this one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, here goes another batch. Yeah. Round and round she goes. Yeah. It's kind of fun, actually. Do you sometimes make them thicker, or do you like them this kind yeah, of thin? Well, that's, you know, Pippalipa usually uh, is skinny. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not like a tone, it's, it's a kind of some uh, special, uh, you know. I, I don't shoot Finland, you know, with other time usually, but they do this. I don't see it on the markets, you know, people selling the special this Vakkuti. Mm -hmm. It would be something nice down at the uh, harbor market if somebody were making these every day of the year. They'd sell a lot of donuts. <laughs> yeah. Well, at that farmer's market in uh, Helsinki, you can get all kinds of original things. Mm -hmm. They have uh, absolutely all kind of wonderful pastries. Mookki. You like mookki. I like mookkis. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now she's going to see how they're browning. Perfect. Beautiful golden color. Yeah. And they take on the, the flavor of the coconut oil. Yeah, you can taste the coconut oil. Uh -huh. Yeah. And it's a, coconut is supposed to be good for you too. Yeah. <laughs> Add a little oil, you know. Do you find, you find you could um, strain that coconut oil and reuse it? Save it or do you just use it uh, once? I suppose I can saute, you know, with vegetables or something with coconut oil mm -hmm. because this is something, you know, uh, I don't use many times over. And I think coconut oil has a pretty high heat uh, tolerance. It is, yeah. It is. And same as avocado oils, you know, they, they are really... Okay, now we have we can go and taste it a little well, bit. You, you're going to put some sugar on these first. Yeah, right? we're going to sugar it, and after that we have a little taste. Okay, and then we're going to relax and taste our tippalipa. Okay, here you are. Well, after you've fried all these tippalipa, you're going to just dip them in sugar. Yeah, just roll it with sugar because this dough doesn't have a lot of sugar. And uh, look at that, how nice that look. You know, they're that really works of art. Yes, <laughs> they're fun. They are, they are really beautiful. fun, you know, when you can just, uh, and they're so good when you have a kind of out and uh, <laughs> warm and out and uh, oil. It is so good. We have to go and taste it and taste our sima. I make it sima a little bit earlier. We can have a little sample our sima with the Tasty with tippalipa. But this is the idea. Just throw it with sugar and, and uh, here you are. Okay. okay. Well, let's go taste. We have to taste, of course. Okay. Here we are in Soila's dining room having Sima and our wonderful Mayday donuts. Pippalipa. Pippalipa. <laughs> and so I was wearing a lemon yellow apron and she's got lemon uh, napkin holders. So we're uh, really in the mood to enjoy the Sima and the Vapa. Say it. Pippalipa. Pippalipa. <laughs> <laughs> and happy Vappu. Happy Vappu. Let's see how that Sima tastes. I have that, that Sima, I have two days, you know, with Kaunotu or Vermeerating. And today I bottle it and put it on my free free trader. 
and now it's cool and it's nice and cold yeah delicious isn't it mm-hmm. very refreshing it, yeah totally yeah I'm sorry I didn't get to drink it when I was a kid <laughs> <laughs> well we can drink it now okay? yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe it's never too late <laughs> well I hope you enjoyed this um uh honor honorific uh, video about Vapu. Soila and I have been lecturers of the year for the Finlandia Foundation and we're willing to go anywhere in the country to speak, do cooking demonstrations, and tell stories about Finnish food. So thank you very much and I hope you have a very happy Vapu. Vapu, yeah. Everybody enjoy it, Vapu. Yeah, okay. <laughs>